Welcome to Critical Reviews. Today we're diving into the Intel Core i7-10700F. While Intel is known for its powerful processors, this one has some shortcomings that we need to discuss. Let's get started. Reason number six, no integrated graphics. The i7-10700F comes without integrated graphics, which means you'll need a dedicated GPU to get any display output. This can be a hassle for casual users who might not want to invest in a separate graphics card. Reason number five, pricey for performance. At around $310, the i7-10700F is on the higher end of the price spectrum. For those looking for budget-friendly options, there are competitors that offer similar performance at a lower price point. Reason number four, power consumption. With a TDP of 65 watts, it may not be the most power-efficient choice out there. If you're building a system with energy efficiency in mind, you might want to consider alternatives. Reason number three, limited overclocking potential. While the i7-10700F does support Intel Turbo Boost, it lacks the overclocking capabilities found in its K-series counterparts. This could be a deal-breaker for enthusiasts looking to push their hardware to the limit. Reason number two, compatibility issues. The i7-10700F is only compatible with Intel 400 series motherboards. If you're looking to upgrade from an older Intel setup, you might find yourself needing a whole new motherboard, which adds to the overall cost. And finally, reason number one, lack of significant improvement over previous generations. If you already own a recent Intel processor, the performance gains from upgrading to the i7-10700F may not be substantial enough to justify the switch. It feels more like a minor refresh than a groundbreaking upgrade. So there you have it. The Intel Core i7-10700F has its merits, but it also comes with a fair share of drawbacks. Make sure to weigh these reasons carefully before making your purchase. Thanks for watching Critical Reviews, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech insights.